Hello, it's June 2020. It's International Children's Month. Of course, it's always global children's moments, right? As we all connect to that child within us and the children in our lives, whether they be our biological children or not, and remember that innocence, that joy, that playfulness, that peace that lives deep in that child's heart that lives in all of us. Hello, my name is Peter Melton. I live in Santa Cruz, California, and for quite a few years now, I've been wanting to create a hand signal. What's the easiest way that we could remind ourselves and each other that we're all in this together? Well, with the pandemic situation that we find ourselves in, the world is waking up in new ways to the idea that we're all in this together and that everything we do affects others and everything others do affects us, right? The old golden rule coming back at it, do unto others as you would have others do unto you because they are you, right? There is no other. That's what I call the golden rule 2.0 is that next level to remember that there's no other, that what we do to anything we do to ourselves. And, and so back to this quest for a hand signal, and I took the old two piece, two finger piece sign. I looked at that. I said, you know what? I, re I researched a little. This originally started as a V for victory. And of course, victory is no energy to build a peace movement on. And symbols are very important. And so I thought, what's beyond that kind of peace? What's beyond that can two sides get along kind of peace, right? Because this is so much more than an anti-war statement at its core. And so I came up with an idea over the years that I call the unity sign. And it's now taking hold and I'm very honored and honored to be part here of the International Children's Month and to share this. So the unity sign goes like this. We used to think we were separate. We are remembering that we're all one and here in the heart is where we remember that. And when we come from that heart-based remembering, we can act peacefully on the planet, right? So it's a motion, peace in, peace out, the unity sign. We used to think we were separate from each other, from the planet, from our choices, from the future. We are remembering that we're one and everything we do affects everything else. And when we come from that deep heart-based unity consciousness, we can act together peacefully on the planet. We can create this wave of unity, togetherness, as we dare to navigate this new world we find ourselves in. So again, thank you. It's an honor to be part of International Children's Month. Come back to the program. It's going all month long. It's also connected at the end of the month with a great program called worldunityweek.org. Check that out too, uh, starting June 20 through 27. And let's have a beautiful month where we emerge in this new unified humanity. Thank you.